Well, another Canadian tech startup has reached unicorn status. That's when a private company raises money at a valuation north of a billion dollars. And now Truly You can count itself among those ranks. Uh, it is based in Vancouver. It's an identity verification startup that recently raised uh, just under $400 million U.S. It was led by Silicon Valley venture capital firm TCV. Joining us is Steve Munford, CEO of Truly You, uh, for perspective on how they got here and what happens next. Steve, thanks so much for being with us. Uh, let's maybe first just start uh, talking about what Truly You does, identity verification. What does that mean and, and where is it applied? Sure, and, and thanks for having us on. Um, so essentially we are a global identity uh, verification platform. So what that means is if a business is trying to onboard a customer or another business to interact with, they need to establish trust and they do that through a verification process. And uh, essentially, we are the backbone for many digital platforms to do that. And that's kind of right in the wheelhouse of the kind of unicorns, it seems, that Canada tends to churn out. And you have deep experience in kind of that B2B uh, software business, uh, which, you know, this is. Um, but talk to us about how this space has matured over your long history in it. Yeah, so I, I, you're right. I, I spent a lot of time in, in technology. Uh, I spent about 20 years in security. Uh, this form of identity is, is slightly different and, and slightly newer. So it, it's really emerged out of um, you know this the as fintech platforms transform, as you've seen the rise of online brokerage firms, uh, trading platforms for things like cryptocurrencies or marketplaces that facilitate commerce between two parties. When all that is done digitally, you have to establish trust, and uh, that's that's hard to do. And, and as as more and more of these platforms go global, uh, establishing someone's identity and, and trying to access to seven billion people around the world is, is really hard. And and we've essentially built a platform to do that. And um, you know, I would say it's still in this this industry is still very early, and uh, we're in early innings of um, solving what is a quite a hard problem. And, and a large problem too, right? And, and I think that's what attracts investors. It's what um, TCV said in interviews. Uh, the reason that they were attracted to you as a company is that you have this ability to solve what is a very uh, large market, right? In, in, in terms of uh, the type of companies that will need your assistance. Yeah, it, it, it's a huge market. And, and if, you, if you just think about um, the whole democratization of financial products. And earlier in your show, you were talking about the, you know, all the activity around meme stocks like GameStop. But really what we're seeing is, is, is things like consumers wanting to go online and manage their own finances. We're seeing consumers wanting to uh, go online and rent a house from someone else or buy goods from another business. We're seeing new businesses go online. So if, if you believe the whole world and most transactions will be able to be performed digitally, the backbone enabling that is, is trust. And, and so I think we're, we're really in the early part of a, a, you know, a big shift and a shift that's accelerated over the last year. And I, I think that's partly what attracted TCD. What talk to me about the ecosystem in Vancouver? We spent a lot of time, you know, talking about the Waterloo Toronto corridor, the AI advancements in Montreal, Shopify, of course, anchoring things down in Ottawa. Uh, what is the environment like right now in Vancouver to grow and scale businesses? Uh, I mean, Vancouver tech community is, is, is fantastic. I, um, I started my career here, I, I then moved on to uh, places like Boston and uh, the UK and uh, really happy to be back. I, I think we've got the uh, great combination of, of good schools that, that uh, have a, a, a lot of good technology people and business people coming, coming out of them. We have a, a, a ecosystem that's matured over the last 20, 25 years where we're seeing serial startups, um, serial, sorry, serial entrepreneurs. We're seeing uh, very experienced uh, venture capital. We're also seeing um, a lot of uh, people set up offices here. So that, that whole um, ecosystem creates a great environment to build the company. You have experience at publicly traded companies as well. Do you have an eye towards taking Truly You public? And what do you need to make sure uh, is in place before that happens? 
Yeah, you know, I you're right. I have run public companies, I've run private companies, and and uh, you know, both can be great platforms for growth. Um, you know, for Truly, you we we do have the luxury that we're profitable. We're we're growing very very quickly, and what we're seeing now is a strong appetite for for private investors to invest and in, in backer growth. So you know, for us. Um, we, we've got a lot of things we want to do over the next couple of years. We, we, we really want to expand our portfolio. We really want to invest in product. We want to accelerate our global expansion. And, and for now, we think the uh, private market is, is the right market to do that. Um, I, I think at some point, um, we'll get to the size and scale that um, accessing public markets will make sense. But, you know, we're, we're not in a rush. Um, if we were in a rush, we probably would have considered that versus a private financing. And on that private financing, how would you characterize interest and, and perhaps ability uh, in Canada versus the U.S., you know, understanding that in this round you took in a, a big chunk from U.S. investor? Yeah, and in fact, in this round, I think all the investors were, were, were either south of the border or, or from Europe. Um, listen, I, I think you're seeing increasing that capital is, is, is borderless. Um, we're seeing Silicon Valley investors, and you're seeing this across Canada. Um, pick a theme, pick a, a area that they want to invest in, and they look globally for the best platforms to do so. Uh, that was certainly, in our case, we, we had a lot of interest um, from investors um, throughout the globe, and, and really investors that understood what we were doing, understood the potential of what we're doing, and, and in some respects, investors that had a relationship um, you know, that I've met in the past and, and that we, we've had a relationship with for some time. So I, I, I think we, we're in a fortunate position that you know, because of what we're doing, because of how the company is performing, the industry we're in, and, and I think that the team we've built, we actually did have a lot of options. Um, very pleased with TCB, though. I, I think they're, they're a phenomenal firm and uh, have backed, you know, folks like Airbnb, Netflix, other, and, and they back folks that really had ambition to disrupt um, significant industries. And that, that really, uh, that's what, really what we were looking for. Steve, thank you so much for joining us with the insights. Congrats on the success so far. That's Steve Munford, the CEO of Truly 